Hi, my name is Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation. I've been doing this for a long time, and I hope that what I share with you is going to help you. I, my, our approach to marriage at the Marriage Foundation is very different from um, virtually everyone else. We try to give you the right kind of information that's going to turn your marriage into basically the reasons why you got married. A marriage that's producing unbelievable happiness and incredible waves of love and it's possible you can actually have that and this topic my wife makes me feel bad about myself touches on a subject that is very important in fact um, we have courses and books and the course for men begins with learning how to master your mind how does that relate to this particular topic of my wife makes me feel bad about myself? Well, I like to point out to people that you have free will. How you respond internally in your mind, how you react internally is 100% up to you. Now, we've never been taught this in school. Nowhere do we learn about this. And so it doesn't occur to us that how we think, how we feel, how we react to things is a free will decision. We don't think that, but it is. Think about it and you will see. Free will is free will. You can't have partial free will. Now, it doesn't mean that you can just exercise it now because it's a muscle and it's been atrophying because you've been using your free will to decide between chocolate and vanilla, basically, figuratively, obviously. And so I point this out not as criticism, because it's not our fault. We learned what we learned. But so you have a new door to walk through, a door of opportunity. And the first step for you to take is to start watching how your mind reacts before your mouth reacts or before you go into a mood or before you become angry. Watch it. You see, your mind is a possession. You're a soul. We're souls. This is not a religious discussion. It's just a fact. You're a soul. And I have it. I, I recently an atheist wrote it. I'm a diehard atheist, blah, blah, blah. I like to think of it as, I don't care how you think of it. The main point is that you are in charge of your mind. Your mind is a possession. Your mind is not you. You are objectively capable of controlling your mind 100%. And we know that. We know that. There are people who can control the, the flow of their blood, their heartbeat. So you have these controls, but we're not taught to use them. So now let's skip a little bit ahead. Know that that's the big picture here is that you have to learn how to control that. But there's something much more important going on here, much more important. And that is that because your wife makes you feel bad about yourself, it basically means that your marriage is not happy. It's not fulfilling. And just pointing out this one thing, oh, my wife makes me feel bad about myself, isn't going to help you. What is going to help you? You have to turn your marriage around. You cannot turn your marriage around one ding at a time. You just can't do it that way. It doesn't work. And Western therapists, you know, the, the traditional marriage counseling, that's what they do. It doesn't work. I know I was a divorce mediator. Where do you think I got all my clients? What does work and it worked for me, even as a divorce mediator, I didn't concentrate on the problems that the couple were having. I didn't concentrate on the disputes that they chose to focus on. I concentrated on what they could both agree upon. So mostly they agreed upon what was best for their children first. Second, sometimes first, was what do we do with our assets? We don't want to lose them in a big court battle. So that's where I went in divorce mediation. So I use that same premise for helping couples in their marriage.
helping individuals. In fact, that's what we use at the Marriage Foundation, that premise that focusing on what is best for both of you is what's going to turn your marriage around the quickest. So, we ask the question, why did you get married? Well, the answer is, you got married in order to be happy. You got married in order to have a life that produced more happiness every single day of your lives. You also got married, it was more subconscious, deeper than subconscious, but you really got married to experience unconditional love. So those are the two things that we shoot for. Now I ask you, what are you doing in your marriage to produce happiness? What are you doing in your marriage to cultivate love? You want to start feeling better about yourself? You start tapping within. You start realizing yourself, aligning your mind with who you really are, the soul, and you will start feeling joy. Unbelievable joy. Unbelievable joy. And, ha and happiness, which usually equates to getting a new car, a new job, or something like that, not so important. And the love, oh my God. You learn how to cultivate that love, you'll be in seventh heaven. So you should definitely be a subscriber to this channel so you could learn more and more about marriage, but you could also take a look at what we have to offer. A lot of it's for free, like these videos, articles, but go to our website. We also have courses and books. Thank you for joining me. I'm Paul Friedman. God bless you and leave a like <laughs> and take care.